Using Flutter, you can build apps for Android, iOS, web, even desktop. However, what about watch? Today, we are going to build this music app UI for iOS, which support ambient mode, or you can say add up to always on display. Also show you how to incorporate with rotating ground input to control the volume. Before we begin, get the starting project. You know, where is the link? Open it on your favorite IDE, run Flutter pub get, and run it on a square shape watch emulator. It looks like that. Okay, means we're done. In reality, we're not. Let me show you why. When we run it on a circular watch emulator, the bottom part is missing because the current UI isn't built for watch. The solution to our problem is use the OR package. This package helps us to identify the shape and mode of the watch. Let's back to the pubspec.yml and add the OR package by uncommenting it. After that, we need to navigate to the Android app and set the minimum SDK version to 23 in the build.gradle. I have already done this in the starting project. Now we can move to the music screen.dirt. Before explaining what we have in our music screen, let's remove the square watch simulator and set the rounded one center. On our music screen, we have a cover of currently playing music with a progress indicator, which is displayed using the square percent indicator package. Following this, the title and the music controller for play, pause and others. At the bottom, we have a volume and favorite button that are not visible within the circular shape. My plan for the circular watch face is to display the volume indicator. To achieve this, we need to determine the shape of the watch. We can bring up this by wrapping the row with watch shape wizard. Create a boolean variable called is rounded. Scroll to the favorite button. If rounded is true, we don't want to display the favorite button. Additionally, we'll set the main axis alignment to center. As you can notice, this watch has two modes, ambient and active mode. However, our UI is not reacting to either of those modes. To solve this, wrap the body with ambient mode. Next, create a boolean variable called isAmbient. Then wrap the column with an opacity wizard. Now on ambient mode, let's set the opacity to 0.6, otherwise 1. Let's observe how the UI behaves with those changes. Furthermore, we can hide the music cover progress line on ambient mode. To achieve this, we can set the progress color to transparent on ambient mode. We'll apply the same approach to the volume indicator. To do this, we can go to the volume and favorite component and wrap the circular progress indicator with ambient mode. Then you can set the progress color to transparent when in ambient mode. Let's see how it looks now. Last, we'll implement the volume control using the bezel or crown on the watch. To do this, we need to add the oilable rotary package to our project. Let's add this package to our pubspec.yml. Next, we'll navigate to the Android, source, main, Kotlin directory and open the main activity.dirt. Then import the motion array and oilable rotary plugin. And add the on gesture event method. To make our wizard responsive to changes, we'll change the stateless wizard to a stateful wizard and restart the app. Let's create two variables in the state class, a late variable called rotary subscription of type stream subscription, another one called volume, which defaults to 25. Next, we'll create a method. Let's call it a rotary handle event. If the event direction is clockwise and if the volume is less than 100, we'll increase it by 1. Else, if the volume is greater than 0, we'll reduce it by 1. On init state, initialize the rotary subscription and listen to it. And don't forget to dispose it as well to avoid memory leakage. Next, back to the circular progress indicator and replace the progress value with the volume. Finally, let's observe the changes. Now, it enables us to adjust the volume using the bezel or crown. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any feedback or question, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.